Grace and peace from our Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Denise was baptized and confirmed her faith in God at St. Timothy Lutheran Church on April 27, 1997. And so we begin our service today with the promise of God read on that day, found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. Isaiah 43, 1 through 3. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our sister Denise, whose body we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O oh God, raise her up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace, won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We find many words of comfort in the scriptures, but few provide more peace than those we hear in Romans chapter 8. Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And our gospel reading for this day comes from the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter. John 14, verses 1 through 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again to take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. Dear Ruth, Wanda, Dawn, I loved visiting Denise at Night Point coloring and playing games with her. Especially I enjoyed how she would follow us down every hall when we came to go Christmas caroling and she would sing with us for every single song. Over the past few days I've heard so many more stories about the impact she made on the lives of so many people. These memories are going to live on with each one of us. Her friends in the special classes at St. Timothy loved her dearly, and they will especially love the way she loved singing with them. Most of all, hearing the memories that you, her family, have shared has helped to paint a more vivid picture of her life. She loved you so dearly, and I am especially thankful that she said those words to remind you of that in her final moments. Sharing these memories helps us to grieve and prepares us to say goodbye. In our Gospel reading this morning, Jesus is trying to do just that. He knows that his time on earth is short, and he's starting to say goodbye to his disciples. His words ring so true for us today. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And he promises us that there is a place for us with God, a dwelling place. It's a place where we can abide with Jesus, that place where God abides with us. This place is as welcome and beloved as the homes where De Denise lived here on earth. Jesus even tells us that he's prepared a special place just for Denise. But we don't know for sure what that special place looks like. 
I imagined that Denise's room might be more like a whole house with room for doing all the things that she loved to do. It would need plenty of coloring books and lots of games and plenty of space to gather with friends and with family and lots of pets. There would be music to sing and babies to hold and plenty of Dr. Pepper. But most of all, I believe that in Denise's new home, she is free of what held her back in this world. She can now share with everyone that bright, wise, incredibly intuitive spirit that was always hiding behind her smile. She's now free to say everything that she was always thinking and to tell her dad decades of stories and to give even more of those beautiful hugs. And so today, we praise God for keeping Denise and each one of us safe in his love throughout our earthly journey and for all eternity. And as you remember Denise's life, you can be absolutely certain that her Savior's hands, which carried her safely through every day of her life, are the same hands which surround you today with God's love, comfort, and peace. And may the peace of Christ, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hearing these promises, let us with confidence commend Denise to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Denise. Acknowledge we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our sister Denise, and we commit her body to its resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord's face shine upon her. The Lord look upon her with favor and give her peace. Amen. Rest eternal, grant her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. Let us pray. Merciful God, you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness. Calm our troubled spirits and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ rising from the dead, you conquered death and opened the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you, that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with our sister Denise. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless you now and forever. Amen. Let us now go in peace.